Good morning, young lady. Good morning. You drink coffee? I got a cup for you. No, not really, but after last night I was. Well, we all had a rough night. <clears throat> rough night? Try rough life, but don't nobody care. Somebody cares. Who? Sebastian? No, we're not going to do that. Look, Jeremiah's staying with him. I hope you didn't come in here to talk me out of changing my mind. And we know you had to put some thought in it because you would not leave Jeremiah with just anybody. No, I love Jeremiah. I love Jeremiah, but I'm tired. I don't, I don't have it in me. I forgot him at school the other day. I woke up with a bottle in my hand and him knocking on the front door. It's gonna be all right. I want to be a good mama. I really, really do. And you can be. But how when I'm becoming everything I didn't want to be? I don't even know how I got here. I feel like I can't stop, because if I stop, I, I feel. <laughs> you can't go through life not feeling. Well, that's what works. You got to take the good with the bad. The only good I know is Jeremiah. There's more good to know. And I promise you, I'm gonna stay right here until you get to all your good. Come here, sweetie. Come here, come here. It's, come, it's gonna be all right. It is, sugar. I'm not going nowhere. You're up early. Yeah, I figured we'd do something different and have breakfast together. Aren't you a sweetie pie? Hey, you know, we don't get to spend many mornings together anymore. I know, my job is so demanding. Yes. Yes, it is. I promise. I'll do whatever I have to do to cut down on my workload. Because I know you want to retire early and, and do some traveling. And I'd rather not travel alone. I don't know why not. I like it. <laughs> oh, this is funny to you. Man sitting here telling you that he loves you and he misses you and he wants to spend time. Oh, I love you too. And like I said, I promise I'm going to cut down on my workload. Okay. Where's our daughter? I haven't seen Rissa. Oh, hey, baby. I was just talking to your dad about you. New hair. Hey, Mom. Hey. Did you see my new hair? Yes, baby. I'm just seeing the hair. It's cute. I needed a change. Well, I think it's fabulous. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Well, I actually came over because I wanted to talk to the both of you. I need help. Oh, boy. Don't tell me you and your dad are on the outs again. When are we ever in? Honey, don't be so hard on your dad. You know he loves you. Hard on him? Let me guess, he didn't tell you about what happened while mm -hmm. you were away. Whoa. Whoa, what is she talking about, Emerson? Baby, just a little situation with that little thug friend of hers. It's <laughs> no big deal. A little situation, a gunshot is not little, Dad. What? You've got to be kidding me. I'm gonna protect my family and my home. And I'm not going to sit here and listen to myself being made out to be the bad guy. I didn't guy. come over here to hear about you protecting me or whatever you think you tried to do. Sweetheart, what's the matter? I need help with school. T and I are done and I need to figure out how and what I'm going to do until I find a job. A job? For what? What do you need, Carissa? We can help. I don't want your money. I need you to co-sign a loan for me. Carissa, we have money in the bank for you for school. I don't want your money. The least you can do is help me with the loan. Sweetie, that money was saved for you. Why would you take out a loan? What is it that you need? Let me write you a check. Carissa, I don't know what's gotten into you, but you sound crazy. A loan? Hey. Okay. I can meet you for lunch in about an hour. <laughs> I see some things still never change. You would know. 
can give it back to me if you want, or you don't have to. Okay? Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Sheila, what are you doing? Nothing don't look like nothing to me. You cheesing mighty hard at that phone. Nosy. Oh, now look who's cheesing. Must be J. Kyle. It is. And look who being nosy now. What? You must really like him, right? He got you grinning all hard off a text uh, message. I do like him. And I know I told him I don't want nothing, but... But you lying. So why don't you just tell the truth? Say how you feel and be done with it. Don't like you, you like? saying what you feel to whoever you text him on the phone? First of all, cousin, this ain't nobody but Malcolm, okay? And I'm stalking his Facebook. I certified crazy. Do you even know this man? Look, I'll be that, okay? But just tell Jake I like that you want to be with him. Shoot. Oh my gosh, it's not that simple. Anyway, who is Malcolm? I don't even know no Malcolm. He's just some dude from my class. That's it. Mm, don't sound like nobody to me. Tell me. All right, all right, all right, listen. I mean, he cute or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's smart. He thinks I'm hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, he's tall, which is cool, because you know I can't be towering over nobody. Mm -hmm. He dressed all right, but you know, we could go shop and figure that out. But the thing is, he's a little strange. But it's all good, though, because he always smells so good. Wait, how you know how that man smell? Did I miss something? Girl, bye. Listen, we sit next to each other in my African-American lit class. Mm. Oh, so he's one of those woke dudes. That's how y'all say woke, right? <laughs> you know that department is a cult, right? First of all, goodbye and good night, okay? Don't be coming for my ad fan people. Mm -hmm. Plus, you should probably sit in on a class and learn something. No, thank you. Anyway, I'm about to go to this meeting with financial aid. They need to come up off these dollars, because I need my money. I'm gonna talk to you later. All right, then. Well, listen, text me when you're done fighting the man. All right, girl. Peace out. So what was wrong with you earlier? You seemed a little distant. Distant? Yeah. Did I? I'm sorry, I was at my parents' house earlier and you know how they can kill a mood real quick. I get it, my mom, she be, she be doing the most. No, it's more like my dad, but enough about him. How was your day? It's better now that I get to see you. Here you go. You ain't gotta be all smooth with me. Come on, it's me all the time. Oh, really? How about we go on a date? Not to no party, for dinner. Anywhere you want to go. I like that. Look, if you would have said no, <laughs> I'd have been no good. Mm, I wouldn't do you like that. I like free food. See, that's that fat girl coming out. Real cute, Carissa. Mm -hmm. Real cute. Oh, here's some of my friends. Let me go see. <laughs> hey, y'all. What's that? Oh. Hey, Carissa. Mm. So you're not gonna bring your little friend over? Why must you always start? What? We want to be people with your people. Uh, what you up to? Just having lunch with a friend. Isn't it a little too soon for you to be dating people, wearing red all out in public? Is it too soon for you to stop asking questions? I'm just trying to look out. <sighs> anyway, I just came over to say hi. I'll holler at y'all later. All right, Well, girl. some of y'all. Bye. That was fast, wasn't it? What? Her instant bay. I mean, she just popped tea right out of her life and then popped this action figure right in like it was nothing. I don't think it's nothing serious. And if it is, I'm sure you can relate with your new bay. <laughs> I do. Because <laughs> listen, Sebastian wasn't loving me the way I was loving him. Plus, I'm not trying to be stepmom to nobody's son. Wait, what? What you talking about stepmom? I probably shouldn't be telling his business, but it's not even a baby. It's what? like a full grown, mature, drinking milk, like kid. He go to school and everything. He got books that he gotta read. Like, how you gonna hide that? This is blowing my mind right now. What are you talking about? I saw him earlier. So, you know, I had to cheer my old bae up. It's the right thing to do, right? Anyways, he was just going in about some old girlfriend and some new kid that he didn't know about. She just oh showed God. up to his house with the, with the kid. Yo, that is crazy. I guess I should probably call him and check up on him or something. I don't... 
please do before the boy drive into a wall. Like, he lose his boo and find out he got a kid all in the same semester. Tragic. Wait, Taj, you was never his boo. Amaya, what we had was real. Hey, Professor, you cute? You still need to redo that paper, Natasha. And thank you. See, I wasn't even gonna bring up the paper this time. Yeah, I'm sure you weren't, sweetie. I'm waiting on you to get these edits done so we can get these grad school applications out. I know, but what happened was, right, my computer... Natasha, don't play with me. Just get it done so we can get you into grad school. All right, I'm gonna get it done. I got you. All right, you This better. week. You better. Hey, Professor, how you doing? I'm good, Mr. Whitney, and how are you? I got a very impressive email from a colleague after your grad school interview. Really? Yes, very impressive. Great. I'll let you know if I anything. Please do. What's up, Tasha? You looking nice today? What? Me? Thank you. So how's your grad school applications coming along? Mm, it's coming. Well, I can help you if you'd like. Edit a paper, purpose statement, whatever. Um, sure. Tasha, why are you always acting like you're scared of me or something? What? I'm not scared of you, boy, please. Yeah, well, either you're scared of me or you like me. And if you like me, you should let me take you out on a date. Like food? Like together? Yes, food. Yes, together. Yes, I'll pick you up on Friday. Mm. Yes. Um. Yeah. Yo, Malcolm, what's up, man? What's up, man? Man, I should know you was gonna be in this class. Oh, black power to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we'll brings you to the dark side of the campus? African American literature isn't exactly a thing, is it? Look, man, I'm into anything that's gonna get me across that stage on time. Hey, I hear you. Yo, Dane, this is my friend Tasha. Tasha, that's Dane. Hey, I think I saw you earlier. You know my girl Carissa? Oh yeah, yeah, we cool. Cool? Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm, ladies man, no, ladies chill. man. Chill out, chill yeah. out. Look, no, chill, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm a lover. <laughs> well, yeah, all right, well. Speaking of love, I'll pick you up on Friday, what's up? Uh, don't be assuming stuff. Come on, give me some How you just gonna take me? Relax. That. <laughs> now I know you won't give me the wrong number. I went to that. Yeah, well. Mr. Whitney, not in my class. Carissa, it's T. Open the door. First thing in the morning, and you hear nothing but. Honestly, no. What do you want? Look, I didn't come here for that. I just want to talk to you, man. Talk about what? There's nothing to talk about. Baby, I know you need your space, okay? I know it. I respect it. But baby, you need to talk. All right? You, you can't go on. Pretending like me and you never happened, that's crazy, man. Look, just give me two minutes to talk to you, all right? Dang, right, baby. You look, you look so good. You look I know, so you said two minutes? Look, don't be like that, Carissa. You ain't gotta play the tough role with me, man. All right, I know you too well. This ain't even like you. Cut it out. Who I am and what I do is no longer your business. Look, who are you fronting for, man? Huh? Me? Look, I know you're upset, okay? I know you're mad. I get that. But you could at least be real with me right now so that we could work this out. There's nothing to work out. Look, I told you I'm done. But I'm not done. Look, it's not going to be that simple, Carissa. 
You need to get it through your head. I'm not letting you go. You don't get to tell me what I will and won't do anymore. You don't control me. What? I'm so sick of this, man. I'm so sick of this. All I ever did was love you. Love? Yes, love. Did you know that my father was investigating you? Love. I was just a pawn in whatever sick game you and my father were playing. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. Stop it. I'm tired of your mind games, T. You're no good for me. No good for you? See, now that's where you're wrong. And you know that. Because I am good for you. What you forgot? I was your first. I was your first kiss. First person I ever made love to you. Nobody knows you better than I do, Chrissy. Nobody is better for you than I am. Two minutes of hope. Get out, too. Get out, too. Clarissa, you don't mean that. Get out, too. Single and anxious. I told you it ain't no option when you're running with me. You know he ain't got no rap for me these days. I just got a lot going on right now. I need you around. You know what's he? I mean, I'm sure it's not the same one. You ain't gotta be no dumb dope dealer, dog. Are we good? I'm a lot more than the blocks that raised me. Mm. And you're gonna be too. What's up, Tasha? Who is your friend? Did that just happen with Sebastian? Sebastian got a whole baby mama situation and she is really not coming quietly. She's she busting the door down. Like, I don't know what was going on inside of Sebastian at the time, but I'm sure that seeing someone that he had been with previously that he had no longer dealt with for years, like, the boy about five years old, for at least five years, and now she wants to come back. Now she wants him to be a daddy. Now she's tired of being a mother because she can't take it anymore. I really can't wait to see what it's like for Sebastian to learn how to be a father and then learn how to parent a child that he's never had a relationship. And seeing that the mother has so many issues regarding her ability to parent, that's gonna be like a really interesting way for us to be able to explore the character of Sebastian and seeing how he deals with those pressures as well as how his grandmother then helps to deal with those pressures of life. We are getting deep in this. Episode 204, love, what you mean, love, I really wanted for Carissa and T to really have a moment where they thought about what love was and then seeing that moment and understanding that for Carissa, her love is in this season not willing to be compromised. No matter how bad the passion gets, no matter how much you want it, she knows that it's toxic and that he's no good for her. We'll really see in the future episodes what it looks like for Tasha to be pursued and what it looks like for her to fall or possibly fall or fall too hard and seeing kind of like where Malcolm is in the situation. So keep watching guys. Episode 205 is on the way. Next week is probably gonna get a lot more juicier. You don't wanna miss what we have planned for 
for you next time. Don't forget, follow us, singleanxious.com.